What is up guys, Jake here with the next Vainglory video and this one in my effort to continue to show you guys new different heroes, I am going to play a little jewel in the jungle, weapon power, got paired up with a scarf and in Arden. So, uh, you know, first time, literally the first time I've ever laid hands on this hero. I have watched it been, been played before. Uh, so, you know, I know what the abilities do and things like that and have a, at least a decent idea of how I wanted to build the weapon power build. Uh, so we get matched up against a Catherine, a Taka, and a Vox. So, uh, interesting matchup. And again, you know, when you play a, a hero for the first time, usually it's it's pretty difficult, you know, hard to do. But I, I've watched this one, and I, for some reason it it didn't seem that difficult. I mean, obviously I make some bad plays, and I miss a few skill shots. But for the most part, I thought I did okay. Again, for for first, uh, first go-around, I was not disappointed at all. Uh, so just waiting for it to, to queue up here. Uh, with... With the uh, jewel, you've got some innate armor, especially going against like this um, this Taka, to where he's going to come flying at you, usually um, flying in and then just auto attacking. Uh, with the Vox, you know he's probably um, going to be CP only. I think they reverse it in this one. I think he goes. Uh, actually, he does go CP. Usually, we think the Vox would go CP, but they reverse it. I think the Vox goes weapon power and the, and the Taka goes CP. So I really wasn't just terribly, terribly worried about the Taka. I thought I could get the jump on him early, especially a CP Taka. Uh, so just waiting. Our Arden sort of, I don't know, lags behind there. Didn't get started. So take out the backs here and then you get right into the uh, moving in towards the front. Want to get these done. I want to try to get that at level two so we can fight if need be. Uh, before you know get that bought up and everything but Arden is he's not really um, doing the the vision thing uh, as far as like flares there it comes but it was a little late they could have beat us there if they wanted to but get level two get another a little bit of weapon power and just try and see if we can land in on this box but for some reason Arden just runs across the way uh, sort of gives us away there I'm not sure why he was sort of an eager beaver all uh, all match with his gauntlets with doing that not just not a lot of patience on his end but no big deal uh, we just retreat back to our farm, uh, get it locked down. Clear. She clears pretty quick, and I like that the Thunder Strike, which is very strong with the weapon power build, uh, basically uses no energy. I mean, it's always up, like all the time. Uh, so by that six ends, it did get a little bit of attack speed just to have. Um, now this time I do get a chance to jump in, but nice move there by Fox with that um, that just sidestep and. He was he was a pretty good box, so that was that was a pretty nice play. He would have been stunned up. He would have died there, no question, had he not done that. His sonic zoom just at the right time, but he did, and our scarf just gets a little bit of free farm out of it. So he pushes the lane forward. We fall back down to the jungle. Uh, Arden doing his thing. Uh, he does take out. I think the no, he didn't. He went back. We let him know it was okay. I thought he took him out there. He does in a minute. Uh, he let us know he was going back, so we wanted to make sure and go up. I uh, didn't really want to waste any minions either. I mean, there was a couple getting taken out there, but we didn't make it up in time. He returns uh, from here. I'm just waiting to buy this. Um, I'm waiting to buy. I saw the jump opportunity there, so I did jump right in. Landed on Catherine. And again, this early sort of early game like that, you can take Catherine out pretty quickly. And it rotates down for a three-on-three -three fight. Uh, Vox comes, or excuse me, uh, Vox and um, our Scarf come down. Taka goes down. He was running around like crazy person in there. He got taken out pretty quickly, and they have to retreat. Uh, so we're just going to come up and take a little of their farm as a penalty. Uh, take that number three minion, and uh, Catherine does actually come in and take it, uh, which sort of continues the fight, basically. Uh, now, how she got out of here, I guess she's because she's Catherine. She is popping potions there, you can tell. Uh, but we almost get him. Look at that. Oh, man. So Taka comes in. No problem. We'll fight him, too. He wants to flip out. Uh, so right here, we're trying to just go ahead and take it. They're back uh, camps, but you know this sort of just drags on. Uh, Catherine does come in, get the stun, and get the kill. So Catherine's doing a good job on that. Uh, but finally, Vox has seen enough of this fighting going on. He rotates down, gets the kills. So I took that turret shot. I probably shouldn't have tried to stun her, but she was just getting on my nerves. So <laughs> excuse me, we definitely overstayed our welcome uh, and paid for it with our lives. Uh, at least I did, and that looks like Arden did too. But no big deal, really. I mean, we all, we do have the advantage here, and that death means very little. Uh, we're putting all kinds of pressure on them. So it's more a psychological thing than anything. They, I think they're a little bit afraid of us right now. Uh, so we get our backs. Arden meets back up with me. Actually, he didn't die. Uh, he meets back up with me, get our front, and then I'm just going to buy a little bit of life. Again, because with her innate tankiness, I just wanted a little bit of extra life. Uh, right there, Taka comes flying in. Uh, try to jump and stun. Thought they were probably trying to collapse on us, but right there, big red button that lands flush with Taka uh, enough that Arden is able to secure the kill there. So 
I'll take the assist on that one. Scarf does rotate down, put some good damage onto Catherine. This time, she doesn't have the juice to get away, so a couple kills going our way. I'm going to go ahead and grab that minion mine. It is nice and full waiting on us, so beat that up, take it down, and get a decent payout. Go back to the jungle or, get, or the store. Again, I'm waiting on this Sorrow Blade. So a lot of gold I've got to build up here. I'm getting there. A little over 1,000 now. Uh, i got to get 1,300 for that Sorrow Blade. It is expensive, but it's worth it. It is nasty. Uh, I think uh, I think Jewel has a really nice uh, clear, in my opinion. She clears pretty fast from, uh, from what other heroes that I'm used to. Uh, there I grab it. Got the Sorrow Blade. See him in the, in the bush there. Try to jump in. Stun a couple of them up. Do land on a Scout Mine, which kind of stinks. And that Vox has rotated down. Uh, but not quickly enough. He goes down. Taka goes down. Uh, Catherine does get away. I take the, the brunt of the fight there, but really no big deal. As long as we win the fight and as long as I make it out alive, it's all good. Uh, they chase uh, they chase that Catherine up into the lane, just trying to put some pressure on this. You know, look how low she is. They're just getting chunked down by Scarf, uh, but just not able to secure the kill. She is, she's a tough one. She's a tough one to kill for sure. Uh, but right here, I decide to jump in, drop that Thunder Strike, and then let Arden do his thing. He does take her out. Uh, I take a few shots for it, but no problem. Just fall back into my own jungle. Uh, we're getting lots of kills early game. I haven't got any of them, but look at that. Six assists already at seven and a half minutes. So I'm doing my part. Even though I'm not securing the kills, I am doing plenty of damage and getting a beat down. So I come back and just farm up, go back to the store. Uh, again, grabbing more of that uh, just life. Uh, they do have a, a mix of uh, damage coming at me. So just grabbing life for this mid-game fights. I uh, want to uh, protect, I think Taka's got a tension bow if I remember right. I want to protect against that. Right there, Arden does get the kill on Taka. I'm not sure how that happened, but he got it done. Uh, come back down and grab those fronts and just do another rotation here. Actually, we go back up into the lane here. Uh, you see Vox putting pressure onto our scarf. Gets the kill. And again, so I'm mean about being eager. I mean, I've got a stun. He should have waited there. Uh, it gave me a chance at least to land that stun. If I, even if I miss it, we would have a better chance than him just running in and, and not getting the kill. So fall back, do our backs, uh, then right here it's time to grab it, that minion mine that we're over eight minutes. It is full, a lot of gold waiting there. Grab that up and now on to the store because look at that, I got a bunch of gold. Uh, but they are sort of, again, him being over eager, not letting us shop first, he just sort of runs in, uh, but finally get a chance to shop up. And right here, I think I get in a bad spot. Um, no, this is not the fight. Maybe it's the next fight. Come in, land that stun onto Vox. They come in, real heavy damage on me, just laying them scout mines down, you know, doing that basically poop strat grenade thing. I mean, they, they can't win a fight, so they just drop a bunch of scout mines, hoping it'll change the fight. It doesn't. Uh, we still get the kill. Uh, big red button, I think, landed on quite a bit of people there. But again, I'm weapon power, so it's not that scary. I mean, it does hurt. It does do its damage. But, uh, you know, it's not like insta-death like a CP jewel would be. Uh, but I'm really low health. I'm not. I'm definitely don't want to fight. So I just want to get my farm and then get back to the house and heal up. Uh, but killing both of those uh, kill minions, I thought, well, okay, maybe I can stay in this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get quite a bit of heal off that. Uh, come back up into the lane, just waiting. I jump over just to see if anyone else was behind him, and they absolutely delete Taka. So I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Uh, time to grab that, that minion mine, or that gold mine again. Try to get a little bit more of a payout there. Uh, I guess people have adjusted, and I've adjusted to the gold mine. There's, I see more. When it first came out, I mean, no one touched the thing because it was so scary. Now you see a little bit more of it. So I grab that monocle uh, right there. Catherine does come in, get takes a big chunk of damage, land that stun. So I thought I was landing some pretty good job on some skill shots with it being my first time here, but I do get just collapsed upon and absolutely deleted. Uh, Scarf comes in just to sort of run him off with his ultimate, and they have to fall back. So I got wrecked there. Uh, even though it was, I was doing all right, it just sort of out of position, got too far ahead, and they just all collapsed on me, and ugh, it was nasty. But I'm doing a tremendous amount of damage right now. Uh, so when these thunder strikes especially land, it is devastating for the enemy team. I just got to get in there, get close enough to land them. I really, when I was playing against Jewel, it seemed like the the range of the thunder strike is longer than it is. I mean, it's not that big really. Uh, see Arden dropping that gauntlet immediately here and really we're not I mean he steps out of his own gauntlet and we're just not in a great I mean, scarf's not there uh, he was just a little bit in my opinion just a little over anxious on everything that he did uh, going in dropping his abilities uh, charging whatever he was doing he was just doing a little too soon uh, but their waves pushed forward so scarf wasn't over there I thought I'd take a couple of those last hits 
uh, just because they were there, basically. Poking at Catherine and letting Scarf poke in a little bit. When you're on a team with a Scarf, that's what you want to do. Uh, you want to sort of stay back. You want to poke, let them, uh, let him build up some damage before the fight even starts. This big red button, I think, had a chance to be money, uh, just a little bit wide. I think it had been just a little to the left. Uh, it probably would have landed better, but who knows? I, did, I couldn't see it. It might have landed a little bit and helped Scarf get that kill. Uh, but we fall back, sort of trade one for one there, fall back. Uh, Scarf buys up that clockwork, and we are just trying to get farmed up where I can get some defense. I went ahead and grabbed that reflex block. I think that's what I was after. And then I think I was going towards, I don't remember what I was going towards after that, but got the reflex block, so all is well there. I think those couple last hits at the minion, or at the turret was taken out. Uh, Arden hiding up there in the lane. I guess he's going to jump on somewhere. And look at this, look at this uh, Taka. I mean, crazy. They collapsed in on me. I, kinda, I don't know if you could notice that. I kind of bugged out there. I don't know if it was Arden's. Uh, gauntlet or what it was that kind of made it a little bit strange there but uh looks like my jump didn't i don't know if i got stunned out of it by Catherine. i don't know what happened but it was it was a weird little fight there uh taco just come flying in i come in landed onto uh vox my stun and then uh scarf fires up his ultimate takes out Catherine. we're at pretty low health but we're just sort of jostling back and forth here time to go back for me and scarf uh yeah i was waiting for the um the Aegis, I believe, is what I was wanting to do here. Uh, just to, I mean, I've got the reflex block. I'm not that worried about defense. I'm just trying to, you know, it's more, it's not glass cannon because, I mean, I do have a lot of health and it is jewel. So I wouldn't call it glass cannon, but very uh, attack and offense heavy build that I was trying out. So right here, Vox is out there in the lane. I was almost about to pull the trigger on the jump, but he falls back. Uh, so we're just going to rotate down and get ready for this next team fight. You know it's coming. The Kraken's up. Everyone's just sort of waiting to see what's going to happen. Look at this. So what I mean. I mean, one guy, I know it's Vox, and it's a good kill, I and mean, we got the kill pretty easy. But, man, dropping that gauntlet, we probably could have just jumped in and took him out. Uh, but, no, nevertheless, he is dead. Uh, I'm just saving money because I've got the, the way I've got my items uh, placed there. I don't want to get rid of my attack speed and really just don't have room. I don't want to get rid of my reflex block. I really just don't have room for anything else. And this big red button right here was about to be money, and oh, I just tapped a little too far. If that would have been right down the pipe, uh, you know, right through that little gap there, uh, Taka would have been done for. Uh, just press the lane forward a little bit, trying to get some damage onto this turret. Uh, but, you know, I didn't know they were coming back up. Taka was there. So just fall back, get my farm. I know it's been there for a long time. Those backs are probably nice and juicy. I hadn't been there in forever. Uh, but we catch Catherine here just sort of cruising through our jungle. I don't know what that was. I missed with the jump there thinking she might have been trying to go to the store. Uh, Taka comes down and you notice that there's no flares here. He did drop a scout mine there but there should be flares there. Uh, Vox again collapses down and takes us out while Scarf's in the, in the lane. And he use, again uses his gauntlet uh, for really no reason there. So it is what it is. I am dead for a bit but I do have enough gold I think right now for that uh, Aegis if I remember right. Uh, Arden starts it back there, doesn't finish it. I'm not sure what he was doing. They're all up in the lane. Uh, just see if I'm checking. Yeah, I've had enough for I just go ahead and buy it up. So now I'm feeling a little bit tankier, a little bit more survivable. I've got that uh, that reflex block built in and also just a little, huge amount of shield that I can try to deal with that Vox. I'm sorry, I, I think I got confused with the other game. He is a CP Vox, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so try to defend against that because late game, you know, which we're getting into, it's 18, almost 19 minutes. Uh, he is really tough. And then right there, once again, uh, Arden just, we're not even with him. He's dropping gauntlets. I did my best. Hit that big red button. I think it did land. Uh, just, again, being weapon power, it wasn't enough to finish him off. But here we have a chance to put some serious damage on the turret. They're low. Jump right in. Stun him up. Take Vox out. Uh, Taka is not leaving it. So land a thunder strike on him. I need to... Uh, Either get out or get that turret in, and we can just turn around and take the turret out after I took a few shots. But we did get the kill, and Taka was very, very low. Uh, he had to run back. So we decided to turn onto the Kraken here. It's time. We know we've got the numbers advantage. If they come down and fight, we'll just turn on them and kill them. But they don't. They give it up. Uh, so we take it, grab some Tier 2 boots and an infusion, and just get ready to rock here. Back into the lane, get ready for a big push. I think they come out. Uh, and meet us here. Uh, Vox is out there in the lane. Yeah, right here. Uh, Catherine was kind of hiding in that bush, waiting with her uh, her ultimate there, which was nice. I mean, it worked. Uh, that was a pretty good. Uh, that was a pretty good gauntlet, actually. Catches him in there. Vox is stuck in there with us now, so we're going to take him out. And Taka is still lurking about, but it's just him. Uh, so right here, he comes over, put a little bit of damage on him. I tried to land that stun, didn't happen. Big red button catches just a little bit of him. 
Arden pursues, but really I'm just turning my attention towards these turrets now. He has to fall back. He's not going to be able to put a whole lot of damage on us, and if he does, he's going to die. So another turret is, is what we need to get after, even nice enough to not really do any damage to our Kraken because a few minions were there that they did not clear. So Taka's still just threatening, trying to come out and posture up. We want one more turret out of this at least, so putting some damage on it. Taka trying to come in behind us. Uh, we see him. Right there, no question that turret's going down. So it's time to leave. I got stunned up a little bit, put a little damage on the Taka, and then hit the boots and get out of there before Vox can come do his thing. They've got to turn around. They can't ignore that Kraken. It still had a ton of health, so we know we're in good shape uh, just to call back. Once I get back, I am going to go ahead and grab that Shiver Steel just in case. Maybe slow down that Vox, slow down that Taka. They're both very mobile heroes. Uh, before I even get to put it to use, it is game over. They surrender. So, uh, again, not terrible for my first ever outing on Jewel. Uh, four, three, and eight. I'll take it. It's a win. Um, so the builds are as follows. You see me on Sorrow Blade Monocle, a little bit of attack speed, and then just some defense. Um, scarf, normal Scarf stuff, Shattered Glass, uh, Frostburn, Broken Myth, and a Clockwork. And on our, our just straight defense, on the Catherine, pretty normal stuff, Aftershock and straight defense. Taka went with uh, just a Shattered Glass, a Tension Bow. This is sort of like what I do now. Shattered Glass, Tension Bow, uh, clockwork where you can really uh, spam those abilities over and over he just didn't get any defense now that's the difference between what he does and what I do I get defense for sure at least a reflex block probably on our team with that scarf I would have had an Aegis and been trying to take uh, me out or scarf out uh, and then just get some armor but anyways Vox on their side was weapon power I'm sorry I had that completely confused during the, the recap here he was weapon power uh, but being that I had that innate armor up in front, I really wasn't too worried about it. As long as I stayed facing him, I had a little defense against him, uh, and it worked out pretty well. So there you go, guys. Until next time, Jake, doing my best to help you guys suck less.